this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a weekly reading for October 8th through the 14th, 2018. So what we're going to cover in this reading is a general message about this week, messages for love for this week, messages for your career for this week, and then a general um, message from spirit regarding this week. When I first started my channel, I only did weekly readings and um, I really enjoyed it, but over time it seemed like more of you guys wanted pick a card readings and I started getting lots of orders, which I'm really thankful for. And um, sometimes I would do a weekly reading or a monthly reading or a daily reading. I, you guys have seen on the channel, I've kind of gone back and forth, but I really want to stay committed to these weekly readings. And so every Monday I'm going to be releasing a weekly reading and you guys can help keep me accountable. If you don't see me post a reading, be like, where's it at, girl? <laughs> I've got um, alarms set on my phone, and reminders, and I'm going to do this every week. I'm going to do a weekly reading. Thank you to all of you guys who have encouraged me to do this. I know many of you guys have been asking, you know, that you'd really like to see like an energy report for every week. So very excited for this. Let's go ahead and dig in. Um, what I can say so far about this week is that it's going to be a really great week. Sometimes, uh, you know, with my experience in the past doing weekly readings, I would pull cards and be like, oh my gosh, this week is going to be intense. Um, but it's great that, you know, for my first, uh, you know, weekly reading I've done in a while that I'm seeing really good vibes. So you guys can take a deep breath. It's going to be a really, really good week. And I knew that instantly from the general energy. So let's get into it. Um, the general energy surrounding this week, first of all, I got this card reversed, which I was so happy to see this reversed. This is the 10 of wands reversed, okay? So when you get the 10 of wands upright, it's talking about just like an intense struggle and burden and just like an uphill climb and things not really going your way and feeling oppressed and um, feeling overworked and overcommitted and like not really knowing what your goals are. But obviously this card is reversed and so it, I'm taking it as the complete opposite of that. So what I'm seeing is that you're feeling a lot more in alignment with your commitments. You're, you're getting energy back. Um, things are really in the flow. You're not in a state of resistance at all. Like this is truly the embodiment of going with the flow. Burdens are being lifted. Your energy is coming back. Maybe you felt kind of fatigued last week or um, over the past couple months, especially over the summer when we had all of those planets in retrograde and just a lot of intense spiritual work and downloads coming through. This is actually the complete opposite of that. It's just a time of, you know, relaxation. There really aren't any distractions right now. Things are moving through, you know, the tensions have been lifted and um, there's just a boost of energy and you're able to really move forward and make some big decisions this week and take a lot of action. And so um, this is a week that you're really going to want to try to get things done. Maybe there's some, been some things on your to-do list that you haven't been able to, you know, get off in a while. Maybe you've had some things you keep saying, I'm going to do it tomorrow, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Um, this is actually a week to follow through and get all those things checked off your to-do list. It might be a really good week to clean and get rid of clutter in your home. Um, might be a good week to uh, reconnect with friends. There's definitely a fun, kind of playful energy to this week. Um, and what I'm also seeing is that you are really moving forward and meeting your obligations and your responsibilities. I also have a feeling that finances are going to be really good this week. I get the sense that something comes through like a bonus or like something extra on your paycheck or um, you're saving money in some way or there's some kind of unexpected source of income coming through. And I definitely see this as a message to use that extra income on your self-care. Treat yourself, you know, go to the spa, get a massage, um, you know, buy yourself a nice new face lotion or something, or, um, you know, splurge and get that, you know, expensive soap you wanna get, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, you know, maybe get yourself a new pair of shoes. Um, anything that you've been putting off maybe it's time this is so random but i'm getting a message about like buying new underwear you know getting yourself some new underwear if you're realizing some of yours is getting old or um, you know getting rid of old clothes donating and um, i'm just seeing messages about 
replacing some things um, with the extra income and um, knowing that your, your needs will be met and to take very good care of yourself this week. And then we have the sun. This is such a great message. Um, this, is, this card is actually from my Enchanted Tarot. I love this deck. And the message in the book actually reads, everything will be sunny and bright. Love, friendships, and relationships of all kinds are highlighted. This is a card saying your creative energy is really going to be boosted this week. It is a really great week to schedule a date with your, your partner or to be open to accepting an invitation um, to go out, um, hang out with your friends, you know, schedule a lunch date with, with your bestie or something. Um, and this is saying that it's time for you to express yourself. So feeling creative is definitely a plus. Um, another message about good fortune. I mean, this is the most positive card in the entire tarot deck. It's like a huge yes card. Um, I always love when I'm doing readings for myself and this card comes out. It, it kind of is a message to me that I'm on the right path. And there's definitely that, that feeling this week about just being in alignment feeling like you're in the right place at the right time. You know, we're always on the right path, but sometimes it can feel like we're off. Sometimes we can feel like we're confused or we're not sure where we're going or what's happening or we don't know, you know what step to take next or what we're supposed to be doing. But this week is a week where that's gonna be making more sense, like where we are, where we're going. We're gonna have a very clear vision of where we're at on the path and feel very confident and content. Um, there are s some manifestations coming through this week and I also see it's because we're in a new moon actually. We have a new moon, it's a new moon cycle, so this is a really great time today specifically in the next couple days to set intentions for what you want for this moon cycle for the next month. So. Um, for those of you guys who aren't really familiar with the moon cycle, I'm going to be posting more about this really soon. I follow the moon cycle every month and it's changed my life. By attuning yourself to the moon cycle and um, doing certain things and acting certain ways during different phases of the moon and avoiding certain activities and certain things um, you know, during these phases of the moon, you can actually get in the flow with the energy. For instance, um, at the end of the month, usually at the end of the moon cycle, it's it's the, the waning moon and it's called the basalmic moon. And it's a time of rest, it's a time of reflection, it's a time of relaxation. So if you try to push forward or push your energy during that phase, you'll be in a state of resistance and it'll just, you know, things can kind of fall apart around you or the energy can work against you, um, you know, forcing things during that period. If you're aware, of what the moon is and uh, what the energy is, you can flow with that. It'll help, you know, save you from, you know, expending energy at times it's not going to be as effective. So this is the new moon. This is time for us to actually expend energy to decide what we want, to set goals, to set intentions. It's not exactly a time to act on them, although some people might be feeling like they want to take action. You can do that too, but I think more of just kind of deciding what you want and allowing yourself to dream, allowing yourself to think, spending time out in nature, going on walks, writing in a journal, making a list of the things that you want to manifest over the next couple of weeks is a good idea. Um, and maybe even like to do your budget, work on your finances, um, set any plans or set any dates, anything you want to make happen. It's about like scheduling things, penciling things in. Um, and um, spending time with your family is important this week, you know, your, your actual physical family or your, you know, your spiritual family, your friends. Um, someone might give you a gift this week, something unexpected, like an unexpected gift. And so, yeah, you know, it's a new moon, set your intentions, all is well. This is a really great card to see reversed as well. Um, upright, this is a card saying like you need to let somebody go, you need to, like you've been hanging on to something too long, like you need to surrender your will, you need to stop pushing. But this is reversed, is saying, you know, once again, you're in a state of alignment. It's like you're not resisting what's coming through. You're very open. Maybe this is a message of where you were at in the past. Um, you know, I've spoken to quite a few people recently in personal readings and in Skypes who've had a breakup. 
Um, I feel like I'm always talking to people who, who've had breakups, but it's interesting seeing the patterns. There's been a lot of people the past month or so that have come forward to speak about their breakups with me and to get you know some word on that. And I think a lot of people are starting to get more comfortable and feel more like just normal and in alignment, being used to kind of being on their own again and independent. Um, I think this is a card in general about letting go of attachments. It might not be um, romantic, this right here is saying it's time to get out of your cave. You know, some people might have felt like they were in hibernation mode. You know, maybe you were that caterpillar that became a cocoon, but it's it's like butterfly stage now. Time to break out of your shell. Time to get out of hibernation. Get out there. Um, maybe some people who are more introverted and kind of more hermit-like are actually going to be feeling like they want to get out and socialize this week. There is very social energy to this week. Um, and then, you know, it's interesting to see the Twin Flame card coming out. Um, we are in the middle of Venus retrograde, which um, is kind of almost like Mercury retrograde, but it has to do with love. And so a lot of people from your past could be coming back, your ex might be reaching out, um, or you could find yourself thinking about old flames from the past. Um, if you didn't have a chance to hit it up, like hit it, um, to really hit it off with somebody you dated for a little while and then it kind of fizzled out, that person might come back and try to have another try with you. Um, if you're in a relationship, um, it's you might be working things out with your partner. And um, for some people, it's a very positive energy of just like feeling more connected to their partner or actually meeting somebody new in love. For other people, it's kind of on the flip side. It's, it's It could be tumultuous, it could be a little intense. Um, but what I'm seeing for a lot of people is that the path is being cleared for you to connect with your twin flame. Um, as you embrace your spirituality and just become more in alignment with this beautiful energy, this is the extraordinary card. And so this, this could be, you know, something could happen out of the blue. Some people could meet a romantic partner this week, for sure. And this is the winds of change. So there's, there's an air of change around your um, love life. So let's move on to love. Um, the pay attention to the red flag card came out and I, I needed some clarification on that. And I pulled the compassion card and the forgiveness card. Um, I wanna remind you guys that forgiveness, especially when it comes to love, does not mean that you allow someone to continue to hurt you or that you say that you know someone who abused you or hurt you, it's okay that they did that. It's not like accepting what someone did. Forgiveness is just deciding that you're not going to carry that energy around with you anymore. You're not going to let it define you. You're not going to think about it 24-7. It's, it's just having compassion, which doesn't mean excusing. There's a difference between having compassion for somebody and actually excusing somebody. And I think that's these two words can be difficult because people think, oh, have compassion and forgive. That It's, it's almost like bypassing um, your emotions or or like allowing someone to do something awful to you or something, or just saying it's okay. It's not like, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys have been hurt in love recently, especially those of you guys who've been through the breakup. Um, and so I'm seeing just to have compassion and, and to kind of go to that higher level and understand like, you know, we're all on in this school of life. And some of us energetically are just at a different point and we're going through different things and, um, you can't change someone else. You can't expect them to you know, be on the same vibe as you. This is about you just standing in your truth and having strong boundaries and knowing like what you will and you won't accept in your life, um, but being willing to just bow to that, their path and move on. That's what somebody told me, actually. I had some people in my life who really abused me. And speaking to my psychic, actually, and my spiritual coach, she told me, um, bow to their path and move on. And um, I got this image, you know, of just, you know, you bowing and just saying, you know, I accept your right to live life however you choose. Doesn't mean I have to agree with it. Doesn't mean I have to be around that energy or tolerate it. It just means you make your choices, I make mine. You go that way, I go this way. And that's kind of what this is for some of you guys in love right now. Um, and I feel like that forgiveness opens you up to um, accepting your true soulmate. Some of you guys might also have been like recently dating somebody and you might think like, I don't know what this connection is. And there's a message coming out. Yes, this is your soulmate. You've met this person. Um, or this could be a message you're really close to meeting this person. So you need to face your fears and, and utilize the energy of this week to get out there. Um, and then what I'm seeing for you guys in career is the Magician card. And this is actually um, one of the first cards 
in the tarot. And so it's almost like starting at the beginning. Some of you guys are thinking about starting a new project or a new enterprise. We're constantly talking about this on the channel, about um, starting a new job. One of my main goals with this channel is to inspire everyone who comes to this channel that it's possible for you to receive abundance doing what you love. You know, you guys know my story. I, I worked like a nine to five. I was a swim teacher. I lived in a small town in like a rundown apartment. I even got extremely depressed because I had been abused and I ended up going on disability. I was agoraphobic. I couldn't even leave my house. Um, but I still had a dream that I wanted to be a fashion stylist. And so I took little steps. It started with the vision board and, um, and I just, you know, step after step, trusting my guidance, trusting my intuition, saving up each penny, just utilizing the resources I had around me, um, worked my way to doing this. You know, I am a fashion stylist and I'm traveling between all the major fashion capitals doing work and it's incredible. And um, I just want you guys to know it's possible and not to give up. And many of you guys are capable of starting your own business. I see a lot of you guys are on an entrepreneur path. A lot of you guys are very sensitive, very artistic. Many of you guys are other healers. And so I just want to inspire you guys, especially in this age of information where you can just, you know, showcase and market your, your product or your service online. Um, I want to show you guys how easy it is. And I do personal coaching with people and help them start their businesses or just inspire them to move forward with their artwork. And so um, I think this is a card about that saying, um, use your inner wisdom, use this week and the, the amazing energy of this new moon and all this positive energy of this week to really get in touch with your desires. Um, learn about the law of attraction, realize whatever you believe you receive, start changing your thoughts um, and you're working on reprogramming your subconscious mind through meditation, through affirmations um, and, and you know, pray if you can and dream a bigger dream for your life. Um, you know, maybe it's time to make a vision board. And so this card is asking you, what do you secretly wish for when it comes to your career? Um, how can you take the first step towards manifesting it? And the Angel of Miracles is here telling you that there is so much spiritual support for you on the other side. Your spirit guides, your ancestors, your deity, um, whatever your school of thought is there, or maybe just simply yourself or your higher self is capable of helping you along this path. You don't have to do it alone. <clears throat> and um, one of my favorite quotes is, you're never alone, the universe always sends someone. And um, you know, whatever your dream is for your career, there's no way you're gonna do it alone. There are people who will come along your path to help you and um, you're, never, you're not gonna be lost. I feel like there's miracles all around you and it's up to you to just decide what you want and um, doors will open. So final message, um, message from Spirit about this week is uh, the freedom card, you know, an opportunity. You're gonna be feeling really, really free this week. Opportunities will be coming through. Um, there is a message about having patience. Some of you guys are waiting for, from, uh, for communication from a love partner, from a twin flame, soulmate. And they're saying, just believe that this is gonna happen in the right timing. This is Venus retrograde. There's gonna be some communication coming through in your love life. Um, this week definitely highlights love. And so um, be open. I think emotionally, um, you'll be feeling pretty good this week. And so use this to get stuff done and to set good intentions. And um, I will see you guys next Monday for your next weekly reading. I hope this resonates with you. Um, if you would like a personal reading, you can head over to my website, promiseharmony.com slash services. I only have a couple readings up right now that are available to purchase because I'm working really, really hard on all the other orders people have purchased. Um, but there are a couple up if you're interested. And I would love to know what you guys think about this. I haven't done a weekly reading in a while, so let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. And um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.